Hey guys, Trent with uh, Watchman Advisors here today. So in this uh, video tutorial, today I'll be showing you how to post content from your computer, from your laptop, directly to Instagram using the uh, Firefox Quantum Browser. So I'll be doing other uh, tutorials using different browsers, but for right now we'll use the uh, Quantum Browser with uh, Firefox. All right, so let's uh, jump into it. So one of the challenges that a lot of folks uh, face is uh, posting content from the laptop to uh, Instagram versus just going onto your mobile, and it might be uh, you know a bit more convenient for some people to be able to just get their content you know straight from their, their laptop instead of getting it onto their mobile and loading it uh, to Instagram that way. So so if that's uh, the problem that you're facing, then uh, this uh, video is for you. So what you've got to do is uh, come over here to uh, Instagram first, and then we'll log in. And we'll uh, do that first. And then after you log in, what we'll want to do is come up here to the top right. And you come down here to the uh, Web Developer link and click on that. And then from there, you can uh, click on the Developer Toolbar. Okay, and so once you do that, I mean, nothing's going to pop up here in the Quantum Browser, but down here at the bottom, you'll see this number right here. And so all you got to do is click on that, and a window will pop up. So, so once you do that, you'll notice, just take note that the background here on Instagram is still, you know, looking the same. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to uh, use this developer pop-up tool uh, window and come over here to the... Uh, and the section where you can see this little icon, when you move your mouse over it, it says Responsive Design Mode. And so once you click on that, then it's going to automatically take your background on your laptop, on your uh, browser window, and make it responsive. So it's going to mimic the uh, mobile version. And so, so that's all you really need to do for right now. So we're just going to take this and move it down a bit. And then from here, what you can do is you can come straight here on your browser window and you know choose a device because we don't see the tabs down here yet. Yeah, even if you were to click on your profile, there's nothing down here yet in terms of allowing you to load content. So what you got to do is you got to select the type of device you want to have your browser window mimic. Okay, and so you can choose pretty much almost any of them but I usually, I usually just choose like Samsung Galaxy or you can click on even edit list right here it's not really absolutely necessary to do this but if you like then you can just say okay I want to mimic an Apple iPhone 7 okay you can just select which one you want to have the browser mimic click on add device or I mean uh, just click on done and save and then you can choose the device that you want to mimic. And so I'm just going to click on Samsung Galaxy 7, S7. All right. And once you do that, then what we'll do is we'll come back over here to uh, click on our profile. I, I'm sorry, on the click on the, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there we are. He was just hiding on us. <laughs> right down here, you'll see the plus button. Okay. So you simply click on the uh, plus button button and then you can upload a piece of content from you know your browser straight to Instagram so hope that uh, solved the problem there for you and once you uh, click on an image then you know in fact what we'll do is we'll uh, just do one of the uh, examples real quick for you in case you know you're completely new at this and so we'll just come over here and choose a particular product let's say we wanted to take a product and you know, post it straight on to uh, Instagram and share it with people. So I'm just going to uh, right click on this and save image as. Save it to my downloads folder. And then I'll show you that this really does work. Okay, so you come over here. I downloaded the picture already to my computer. I'm going to click on this plus button. Here's the image I downloaded. I'm going to open. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to click on Next. Okay, and I can put in my description right here. What I'll do is I'll just copy this description and paste it in there. And then, uh, you know, I'll always like to you know, put some hashtags in here. And then, uh, you yeah, know, and then...
Okay. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to put two hashtags right now and then click on share. Okay. And as you can see here that uh, the system is loading, it's uh, processing, and now it's posted. So if you're to pull up the uh, site for uh, Top Decor HQ, which is the example site I'm using right now for this demo, then uh, I would see that on my laptop or even on my mobile if I were to pull up Instagram there. Okay. So that's how you go about posting content. Now, one of the challenges with uh, this is that it doesn't allow you to uh, post a video. And so if you want to post video, what you got to do is you got to come over here to this uh, tool called Gram Blur, G-R-A-M-B-L-R, and here it is. And you can download it from Mac or Windows. So once you download it, you simply run the file. And once you run it, then you'll see something like this. And I'm, I'm using a Mac here. And so in your applications, you'll see the uh, Grambler application right here. And then you'll uh, simply um, click on Open. Make sure you right-click on it and then click on Open. And then uh, from there, it's going to open up in your browser. Okay. So here's the application that it opens up to. You'll see that it logs you in automatically if you've already set this up before. If you didn't set up, if, if that's your first time, then um, you'll uh, be prompted to create an account first. And then after you create your account, then you can uh, uh, connect your Instagram account in here. And so once you do that, then what you'll be able to do is take any image or video and just drag and drop it right here. And then it'll uh, walk you through and you can you know, apply some filters or if you want, you know, just to post a raw video, then just drag and drop it. It'll load it and then you can post it. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, hopefully you found this uh, video tutorial helpful. You know, like the video and uh, share it with your uh, you know, associates and friends and family so they can get the we can get the word out and help them out with solving this problem for them, too. And you guys have a great day.